What's good, YouTube? We're Boss of Coffee here. So, we got a request from Way. This is some more Flight of the Concords for y'all. Frodo, don't wear the ring. I love these guys. I love how dry their humor is. I like how they have the shtick of being awkward when they're obviously very intelligent and well-versed people musically. They, they know how to rap. They know how to put comedic timing into singing and music as well so you know that it really is like a shtick that they put on i imagine in their personal lives they're probably into some really interesting things right uh, comic books obviously nerdy kind of stuff definitely i get that vibe from them so I just would like to know <laughs> what they actually do in their free time as people because their music is hilarious and they're very funny. And it's like a lot of the times those kind of people are very serious in their real life and very well thought out. You know, like Tim Minchin is one of those people that's really deep whenever he gets interviewed and stuff. So let me know. If you guys know of any good interviews that these guys have done that I could go check out in my spare time, they would let me know more about them. If you guys know of any cool interviews they've done, that would be awesome. So send those my way if you know. If you're new here, subscribe for me. We talk about mental health, addiction, world issues, everything in between. Break down all the lyrics to these songs, the instrumentation. We're getting into some funny music to start the night out. I really love getting into these guys because they have a lot of great comedic timing. You never know what they're going to say. They're very good at storytelling. They pick out scenarios that you would not expect to go on tangents about, right? No, I appreciate that kind of stuff. It's really creative, and it's very funny and enjoyable. So thank you guys, and thank you, Way, for introducing me to Flight of the Concords. If you struggle with mental health or addiction, anything like that, please go get yourself some professional help. Your life can get better. It's something I struggled with for my whole life from the time I was about 14 years old up until almost two years ago. I quit alcohol nearly two years ago. We're coming up on that in December. I quit hard drugs a little over four years ago, somewhere roundabouts in there. I don't know the exact date. I couldn't tell you. I don't remember. I just know it was a little over four years ago. So I promise you, you can pull yourself out of those things. You can dive into a better life for yourself, learn new skills. Go learn important things, man. Learn things that are going to benefit you in the long run. Really dedicate yourself to it. Get into new routines. Fall into better patterns for yourself and go do the things that you love. Show them to the world. Inspire people in the world to go do that same thing for themselves if they also struggle. That's what you become is the light that can shine inside of other people's darkness that they're going through. And that's why I get on here and hang out with you guys and talk about the things that we do on here. It's very important to me and we're blessed to have the opportunity to do that with the platforms. If you use these platforms right, you can really get a lot of positive messages out to the world instead of a bunch of garbage that just rots people's brains, right? So I like to spread that message as well. We're going to get into some funny stuff for you guys. I love you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Bacasa Akabi. A reaction video a day keeps a doctor away. Fuck those apples. Flight of the Concords. Frodo, don't wear the ring. Uh, waiting to hear our song. Well, and, uh... wasn't the premiere, though. <laughs> Brett, it was the first Half Price Tuesday after the Sorry, premiere. Right. <laughs> still, still quite a big thing. Yeah. Um... Yeah, and we got to the event and we were, you know, oh, here comes our song. And, uh, and then, yeah, they didn't use it and it was really hurtful. But, um, <laughs> but you can get it on some video copies, some VHS copies. Um, just look for just look for the Biro Pen Special Edition. Uh, so. Yeah, we've, um, we've taken them out from the video shop and then dubbed our song on the end. It's taking... <laughs> it's taking ages to do, but it's going to be worth it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> here's, here's nice. I like that riff. Do, don't wear the ring. I know it's very tempting. 
yes, you will appear to disappear. But the dark riders, they'll know you're there. Yes, Lord Sauron has many spies. Many spies have many eyes. One ring to. Oh, leave it to this, this duo to fucking write a song about this exact thing right here. <laughs> it's too funny, man. It's too funny. You, this is the nerd side of them shining at its fullest, and I really appreciate it a lot because I'm into that kind of stuff. I grew up watching a lot of fucking Star Wars, and I still fucking love Star Wars. My family also liked Star Trek as well. I didn't get into that as much as the others. I liked Star Wars better, so that's what I got into. That was my fucking favorite thing ever when I was a kid. Still one of my favorite things ever. Frodo, don't wear the ring. I know it's very tempting. Fucking Lord of the Rings, I wasn't super, super big into. I will say that, but I have watched them all. Actually, we watched the <laughs> funny fucking story about Lord of the Rings. <clears throat> I was in a psych ward once, and uh, some shit popped off in there, and the phone almost got ripped off the wall. You guys know how it goes. I'm sure some of you do. <laughs> and... <clears throat> While that situation was being handled, they locked all of us, the rest of us, in a room, and we watched all of the Lord of the Rings movies for the rest of the day. It was pretty fucking lit. I enjoyed them that time. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Frodo, don't wear the ring. I know it's very tempting. Yes, you will appear to disappear, but the Dark Riders, they'll know you're there. Yes, Lord Sauron has many spies, and then the many spies have many eyes and <laughs> that deep voice. I fucking love it. These two, just like their way, the way they carry their voice alone, the different accents and stuff that they do, adds a lot of character to their thing that they got going on, and I love it. Music like this is always fun, right? Lord Sauron has many spies. Many spies have many eyes. One ring to find them, to find them. One ring to rule them all. One ring to find nice. them, one to find them. One ring to rule them all. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You've got to rule oh, them. Yeah. Frodo, rule them with the ring. Come on, come on, rule them with the ring. <laughs> if you... you see, like, it's crazy because they can make an entire audience laugh just by switching a tempo because their changes are hilarious like i was saying the way they structure it is so brilliant the timing of it the instruments themselves can make you laugh just the way that they play them which to play an instrument the way that they play them i've already said this about them you have to be an already like an elite level player to fuck around and make it sound good like they do because they'll like intentionally do things wrong sometimes like out of pocket like what they just did there right <laughs> they'll just be completely out of pocket with it where it's like that's not musically correct or what you would normally do but y'all have created something beautiful that makes everybody laugh out of it and it takes a lot of talent to time that right and to pull it off so Respect and kudos to them for that. I love it. I love what they got going on with this right here. It makes my inner nerd fucking <laughs> beam. I just love stuff like this. It entertains the fuck out of me. One ring to bind them to find them. One ring to rule them all. One ring to bind them. One to find them. One ring to rule them all. Little Frodo, you've got to rule them, Frodo. Rule them with the ring. Come on, rule them with your ring. <laughs> so I take it that this is supposed to be a pitch for one of the themes, right? <laughs> That's what I'm gathering. This, this is like meant to be a pitch as a theme. To be used in the series, obviously. <laughs> Which is fucking hilarious. It's fucking hilarious. And I love it. I love that they did this right here. Really awesome. Want him come and claim him. I am not a conjurer of cheap tricks. Quickly, hide Frodo. Do they, Gandalf? Ah, Gandalf. 
My old friend. <laughs> I like what you've done with your beer. <sighs> My word. There's thousands of them, and only about eight of us will never make it. Oh, no. We made it. Oh, hooray! Yeah! <laughs> There's thousands of them, but only about eight of us will never make it. And then we made it. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Underestimating a small group of people is a very poor mistake. <laughs> you go in too confident and you'll realize the, the strength and, like, courage and bravery <laughs> that people can conjure up between each other in a circumstance like they're describing. You'll have a thousand dead bodies and eight people still standing. <laughs> yep. That's not even on the lyric sheet, I don't think. I haven't found it yet. Oh, wait. It's down here. They're, like, mixing it all up. It's not, like, they're improvising and stuff in the live performance and saying different stuff. Like, the beard line is not in here on the lyric sheet. The, I like what you've done with your beard line. That was funny. I liked that. That was a good one. But yeah, they always improvise if you look at their lyric sheets. I haven't looked at a single lyric sheet yet that was correct, <laughs> right? I have not found one that was completely correct and matched the live performance because they're so good at improvising that they do it in like every single song that they perform, basically. I fucking love that, though. I like that. It makes it a lot more fun. Thousands of them, and only about eight of us will never make it. Oh, no. We made it. Oh, hooray! Yeah. <laughs> you have it's my soul, you have my bird. And my axe. Yo, Frodo, what you doing wearing the ring? All powerful jewelry, is that your new thing? I know it's hard when you're little mall, three foot four, a little lost so close to floor. Trying to lead the fellows to the gates of Mordor, the fellowship. Yeah, the fellowship! I don't rap about bitches and hoes, I rap about witches and trolls. Passed on the words of the elven king. Same. Frodo, don't wear the ring. The magical bling bling. You'll never be the lot of the wish to Elves, human beings, don't want to is, it's a lot of the rings. I'm all right. I was saved by a giant eagle. <laughs> oh my god, you gotta fucking love it, bro. They broke down into rap again. I love the lyricism when they get into the more rappy bag with the rhyming and everything like that. It's a lot of fun. They have a lot of fun lyricism. Hold on, let's let this play out real quick. There we go. Issues, think about it. We might, we will have to do that one. We'll have to add that to the list. Way you've also sent quite a few more through, so... That one might even be one of the ones that you sent through. I can't remember the names of every single one that you've sent through over the last week or so. But I know you've sent more for them than just this one. So we'll be getting into those too. We got plenty of these guys to cover for y'all. We got all kinds of stuff to do. Like I told you guys, the fucking request list is like over 30 days long at this point. It's pretty wild, I, and I'm not complaining, I'm not complaining when I say that to you guys, I really appreciate that you guys like the videos that much that we get backed up like that, but I apologize for the long wait times on everybody's requests, trust me, your request is on a list if you've made one, and it will get done eventually, there's just so many, so I apologize for how long it takes us to get the stuff on here, but we got a lot to do, and I appreciate, like I said, that you guys love the videos enough to request that much stuff. It means we're doing something right here, right? <laughs> so, this rap part, I fucking love this right here. He said, yo, Frodo, what you doing wearing the ring? All powerful jewelry, is that your new thing? <laughs> I know it's hard when you're a little more than three foot four. Your little ass so close to the floor. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. That's epic. <laughs> 
trying to lead the fellows to the gates of Mordor, the fellowship. <laughs> I got unhinged at this part. They made me become unhinged. Some of these artists, man. <laughs> he said, I don't rap about bitches and hoe. I rap about witches and trolls. And then I said, same. <laughs> Get fucked up. <on. laughs> I'm sorry. I can't. That shit cracks me the fuck up. Listen, when you guys listen to the Complicated Land album and you think back to the specific reaction, you're gonna fucking laugh your asses off. <laughs> Just gonna say that real quick. You're gonna laugh your asses off. He said, just passing on the words of the Elven King wisdom to all Frodo, don't wear the ring. Frodo, don't wear the ring, the magical bling bling, you'll never be the Lord of the Rings, they said. Damn, bro. Damn. I fucking love this right here. I really love this. Thank you, eh? I see it. I see it. <laughs> this is fucking epic, though. Like, I think this was kind of like what you would consider a comedic type of pitch for a theme for the song, a specific scene of the movie, actually, a specific section of the movie. And this is their pitch for what they would put the background music as. And I love the comedy in it. Very well executed, very brilliantly done. Fun joke at the beginning, now that it all ties in and we see what well, they were talking about at the beginning there. Fun joke at the beginning. I really like that. And if that actually did happen, it's fucking hilarious because that does. Artists will just do crazy shit like that sometimes just to see, right? You never know. You never know. You might surprise yourself and actually get told yes on some crazy shit like that. So maybe they actually did do that just to have some fun and like even troll <laughs> the fucking people that were making the movie and looking for the soundtrack and everything itself. That would be fucking hilarious if they actually did that. <laughs> I would get a kick out of it if I was the person that got sent that. I'd be like, damn, I can't put this in the movie, but you're fucking great for that. Right? <laughs> you gotta love it, man. Way, thank you. I really enjoyed this. Original video in the description. As always, subscribe to Flight of the Concord. Support the artists we have on the channel. Go show them love. I appreciate you guys tuning in. My new album, Complicated Land, Lavish Dreams, comes out in a week. So keep your eyes peeled for that. It's even crazier than Stranger Labyrinth. And go listen to Stranger Labyrinth and catch up if you haven't. I love you guys. Thank you for all of the support. I'm going to leave a like on this video real quick. Show them some love on the video. I'm Vakasa Kavi, a reaction video a day keeps the doctor away, fuck those apples, leave a like for me, comment, suggestion, subscribe up this way, bang that notification bell for me, I'll see you guys in the next ones, I love you so much, thank you for everything, y'all have a blessed night, peace!